Assalamualaikum everyone. Waalaikumsalam. Toastmaster Hena Niyazak. Good to see you after after long time. Good to be here. Uh, sir, just a quick and quick one. Hina Asaf Ali. Asaf, my name is Asaf. Your name is Ali. My name Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Kashif. And the first thing in Toastmasters is that you never thank a speaker. Uh, because uh, as, as you yourself said, as not even as a CGD or a PQD elect, as a Toastmaster, I'm just doing my job. And believe me, every time some, you share something like this, you learn as much as your audience learn. So I thank you for the opportunity and I, I will take everyone's leave now. Thank you so much. I think Toastmaster Tanha, you forgot to mute your mic. No, it was deliberate in order to show that he is busy somewhere else. Try to understand. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Wow, I see some old and not old in the bad sense, but some old friends, let's say, and some very familiar faces who we have been missing for quite some time. So lovely to have both of you back, Toastmaster Umar Hayat and Toastmaster Hina Osafari. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Thank you very much for defining the word old. You know, I was about to become depressed. <laughs> well, it doesn't take much, does it? <laughs> Thank you. And we Thanks have your master Ali Zargam as well. Uh, Ali Zargam, you are looking cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So where have you been Toastmaster Hina Niyosaf? And after that, I'll ask Toastmaster Umar Hayat the same question. Unmute Hina Niyosaf. Okay. Unmute. Again. I, I, th thank you, I just realized that. Okay, so just very quickly, again, I'm Hina Osaf Ali, or just <laughs> Hina Ali, preferably Hina Ali. Okay, uh, I have been uh, mostly just at home, uh, but it's incredible that even being at home, uh, one has got busier uh, for some reasons. My husband is working from home and uh, it's just, I've been trying to support him whatever way I could. And other than that, I've been trying to be there for... Um, was someone known to us who went through uh, a trauma about it's been two months now so I was just doing a lot of running around for that uh, and I think because of that I just uh, you know couldn't focus on on being being there for meetings and things so I would just all I can say is that a person is slowly uh, on the road to recovery and I would just request even without knowing that person's name please pray for them that they, inshallah, inshallah, at some point in time, they are back on their feet because that's the trauma that they're, they're, that person has gone through. That yes. They are not able to at the moment. Yeah. And Toastmaster Umar Hayat, where have you been? 
Uh, I've I've been in my home since uh, February. I've not actually left my home. I've been in strict uh, quarantine, and uh, so yeah, just staying in and chilling. Okay, good to have you back once again. So, Ali Zerga. <laughs> Toastmaster Urusa Kamal, would you like to say something? Then every meeting. Come again? I said, I'm there every meeting. Okay. Toastmaster Urusa Mohsen. I'm also almost there every meeting. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, I must say your speech was extremely good. Uh, thank you. We really like your speech. Toastmaster Fazana Masi, where are you, please? I could not. Hello, everyone. Sergeant Adams. Why is he not in the meeting? <laughs> oh, we need him in the meeting. Yes, we will, inshallah. But, uh, Toastmaster Ali Hasnan, how are you? I'm good. How about you? You just uh, sound like a horrible boss. Horrible boss. Don't worry. My time is going to be finished soon. So, you will have your new boss soon. Inshallah. Inshallah, very if, soon. If anything at all. Toastmaster Imran is not, cannot be horrible, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? He did not allow the sergeant at arms to enter the meeting. So, hmm. shall we begin? Uh, we have table topic evaluator and we have table topic master and we have so many speakers so we can start with table topics and as the role holders jumps in you can just a minute i i i am the word of the day word master no? yeah just a minute i'm coming Okay, so uh, just for your information, since Source Master Imran Rana is obviously in his office, that means that uh, the following XCOM members and KTC members have no excuse to be absent from this meeting. Source Master Fazan Abbasi, Source Master Rashid Dasigi, Source Master Nabil Faruqi, Source Master Majid Akhtar. I wonder at this point in time, what are the working hours for their organization? Is, well, for, there a... uh, Sorry. for hours, it's uh, eight, uh, usual 8.30 to 5.30, but we are mostly working from home, so. Right. So I just wonder. 10 to 4. Hmm? Bank, bank is 10 to 4.30. 10 to 4, 10 to 4. Yeah. right. And uh, Toastmaster Imran, I'm just wondering, what are your normal working hours these days? Please don't ask. <laughs> okay. I know how that is. Toastmaster Latif, good to see you too. So when are we going to hear your prepared speech? Waiting for your call, sir. Let us know. Deliver it today, please. <laughs> no, I have to prepare it, right? It's a prepared speech. <laughs> Toastmaster okay. Shamam. Toastmaster yes. Namita has informed me that uh, there are some problems with the internet. So she's trying to connect, but uh, hopefully she'll come online any moment. 
I am here, here with you guys in 6.30. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Hello. Wa alaikum salam, Josh Master Shamam. Wa alaikum salam, Josh Mahmud, Josh Master Shamam. We, we felt your praises from the very beginning, but we actually had no authority to speak before the president formally opened the meeting. That's why we took quite. So let's, I think, let's begin the meeting. What do you say? Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster of the sir. <coughs> let's begin. Okay. Yeah, let's begin. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, a very good evening and I welcome you another exciting meeting of Karachi Toastmasters Club. Before starting, let's have a brief introduction what Toastmasters International is all about. Since we don't have any guests, but still let's bear it for, for a few more days. Toastmaster International is a non-profit organization established in 1926 by Dr. Ralph Smedley. It focuses on leadership and communication skills through different educational programs called Pathways. Currently, we have 11 Pathways. It, the vision of Toastmasters International is to create good leaders and effective communicators. With that, let's welcome our Toastmaster of the evening, she is the backbone of our club. She is the VP Education. Please welcome Toastmaster Rusa Kavan. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome everyone to another exciting meeting, hopefully the 863rd meeting of Toastmasters, Karachi Toastmasters Club. Today's, uh, today's theme is another life. While I was thinking about this theme, I wanted to decide what I would be in another life. And I was reading this book a few days back. And after 10 years, I must say, I have come to a point where I can put the bookmark right about in the middle of one book. Which means in one day, I have been able to read around half of the book. In another life, I would really like to be one of those characters in this book. It is one of the most interesting psychological thrillers. And being one of the characters in those in that psychological thriller would have So let's see what you would like to be in another life. But before that, before going to that point, let's see who our meeting facilitators are. So, starting with you, the word master, Toastmaster Imran. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the evening. I'm the word master today, and today's word is implication. An occasion when you seem to suggest something without saying it directly. From what she said, the implication was that they were splitting up. Another example, she accused the party and by implication, its leader too. So use the word implication as many times as you can. And at the end, I'll give my report to general evaluator and <clears throat> announce how many people have used the word how many times. Over to you, Toastmaster Urusa. Thank you, Toastmaster Ingram. For the next Toast, poll... Toastmaster Urusa. Okay, before starting table topic evaluation, table topic session, please hand, uh, please give me a few minutes. We have to right. make a very special announcement. All right. Uh, for the next role, the R counter, Toastmaster Adiza Khan. Uh, hello, Assalamu alaikum. Um, it's uh, a long time that uh, I, I, I was not here. So it's my uh, first meeting after a long time. So I am a counter and I will be counting your A, M and other, uh, other things like that. So I will be your A counter. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Ali. For the timer, Toastmaster Latif Mansoor Ali. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. 
wish you all a very very blessed evening we learn a lot when we are in those masters meeting so my role is for timer and i will mark your prepared speech the uh, table topic and uh, the evaluators timings as you all aware green is where you have to speak for the minimum time and maximum is like you know for uh, i will give you a yellow sign for a, in the middle time and then on the red you will have 30 seconds after the 30 after the red red color i will be changing my screens so kindly have me as a pinned my screen as pinned and uh, one more thing which is very important better take this time as much possible you have when you are on the podium because another life maybe you will not be the toast master so do the best what you have now good luck back to thank you thank you thank you toast master lady for the word counter toast master ali hasne thank you dm arusha and uh, the debutant word counter my role would be to count the votes in all four categories and if there is a tie i will be breaking the tie with my own vote you are all requested to send me the vote in the form of personal chat and at then i will be i will be announcing the result based on the vote thank you thank you toastmaster ali uh, for the grammarian and the super grammarian we have toastmaster dibari uh good evening fellow toastmasters uh, sorry i am a bit late um as the grammarian i would be uh as a grammarian i would be uh, making note of the incorrect usages of words phrases uh, and basically incorrect usage of in english itself and uh, also uh, making note of the interesting words used by the speaker during their preparation topic sessions and as the super grammarian i'll be making note of the interesting word phrases used by the speaker in the prepared speeches and the table topic session and in the overall session as well thank you thank you toast master hiba and now for the joke of the day toast master as thank you uh, uh toastmaster of the evening uh dear toastmaster i decided to be a joke master today after recently knowing that the laugh uh, among the other benefit increases immune cells and uh, in fact fighting antibodies which improve our resistance to disease so uh, telling a joke become all the more important uh, uh, and also remember uh, so well, also remember the implication uh, from now on that when you laugh you are not only encouraging a toast master you are doing uh, something much more than that now coming to the joke itself uh, an old man uh, goes to his doctor and says that please help me doctor i think my eyesight is really worsening the doctor asks the man to come and look out of the window towards the sky uh tell me uncle what you see out there says the doctor and points towards the sky i see the sun answer the man the doctor turns to him and asks uncle how much further do you want to see or to you those master of the evening thank you so much those masters for lightening the mood and now for the very interesting two table topic session we head off to the one and only those master rusa oh yes we had a sorry yes we had a a, a special uh, announcement by the president over to you those master rusa thank you very much those master rusa on 6th of june uh, i send message to everyone uh, to nominate themselves for for new for new uh, excom uh, excom road for the year 2020 and 2021 so in that uh, the nomination committee consists of toastmaster some dtm sami hamid todi toastmaster najam toastmaster 
Hina Ali. <laughs> Toast and Toastmaster Shams and Toastmaster Hassan Ali Kaibu. So the nomination committee, uh, one of the nomination committee member is between us. So she is going to make a very special announcement. So I request you to be there and let's welcome Toastmaster Hina Ali. Over to you, Toastmaster Hina. Good evening, everybody. And uh, it is an honor to be here to make this announcement today on behalf of the nomination committee. So we have uh, met and considered all of our uh, members who expressed interest to take up the XCOM roles for the year 2021. And we have uh, come to a decision. So it is my pleasure now to make the announcement for the seven XCOM roles. Uh, can I just be sure that you all can hear me properly? Great. Awesome. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> all right. So starting from uh, the topmost post that we have in the XCOM and that is of club president, uh, nomination committee has nominated Toastmaster Arusa Kamal for the president's role. Next, we have VP Education, <clears throat> and uh, the committee has nominated DTM Talha bin Hamid for the VP Education's role. Coming next and close on the heels of VP Education is VP Membership. Uh, the committee has nominated Toastmaster Javed Bhatti for the VP Membership role. For VP PR, the committee has nominated Toastmaster Saad Shoeb for the VP PR role. For the secretary's role, which is a very important and pivotal <coughs> role in the club, the committee has nominated Toastmaster Omar Hayat for the club secretary role. For the club treasurer's role, nomination committee has nominated Toastmaster Shamam Khan for the role. And finally, last but not the least, and a very, very important role indeed in the club, the sergeant at arms role. And Toastmaster Ali Ashtar Anjum has been nominated for this role. This completes the list of our nominees for the XCOM roles. Now, having said that, uh, of course, we had uh, a lot of different members from our club who had requested uh, or shown interest for these various roles. The nomination committee has made these announcements, but on the day of the election, of course, any of you who requested and you have not been nominated are welcome to stand from the floor and contest in the election, right? For that purpose, I would request all nominated Toastmasters, as well as any who would like to contest to ensure that they have a speech ready for one to two minutes, which they will be given time to uh, deliver to the members so that the members can then, based on that speech, decide who they would like to vote for for this XCOM role, right? So a speech for one to two minutes. The important thing to understand is you will not be given any grace time at the end of the two minutes, right? In a normal meeting, you would be clapped out by the timer. And in, in this situation that we're on Zoom, your mic will be muted. So just make sure that whatever you have to say uh, is from the heart and with conviction so that the members know what you would like to do for the club and for them if you are elected. All right. Having said that, of course, we would need a schedule for this meeting. Uh, once nominations are announced, there has to be a two week period after which elections take place. <laughs> Normally, these would have been done in May, but of course, we were all quite busy with our conference. So now that the, these nominations are announced today, this meeting for the elections will be on the 24th of June, which is two weeks from now. 
and what we would like to do is uh, as there may be some uh, contest as well we will hold a uh, an other than normal meeting, if you will, where, of course, uh, Toastmaster Arusa, you being the VP education, we'll have a word with you. But we'd like to have a shorter normal meeting where we start with guests and then by eight o'clock wrap that up and we will request the guests to leave or have our uh, technical host uh, have them leave the meeting. And then we'll have members for the rest of the meeting to uh, have the election. Now for elections to take place where there are there is a contest, we have to ensure that we have a quorum in the meeting. So what that means is 50% uh, of the current membership uh, have to be present and cast their vote. So for that, as I see today, we don't have that many members. Let's all speak to each other and make sure that on the 24th, we do have that quorum and our elections can take place smoothly. Um, and with that, I wish everybody, the nominees and uh, any members who would like to contest, the best of luck. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster Imran. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hina Ali. Uh, you won't believe, seriously, I'm now relaxed. Only two or two or three meetings, I'll be flown away from Toastmasters. <laughs> Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hina. And over to you, uh, Toastmaster Urusa, the nominated president. Thank you, Toastmaster Imran. Okay, now back to our regular meeting. Uh, we will we were having our table topic session, and back to you, Dutti Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the evening. Um, okay, so today's theme is in another life. What do I mean by in another life? I think it doesn't take a lot of imagination to conclude that our lives have changed over the past two, three months. And yeah, I know. I would have taken the name COVID-19, but I will not because <laughs> that is not one of the uh, recommendations from Toastmasters. Uh, they're actively encouraging to actually uh, discourage the spread of uh, uh, depression and uh, uh, they're actively encouraging to uh, for all of us to spread hope. So I'm hoping that today's table topic session uh, will be able to accomplish that. Uh, so what do I mean by in another life? Simply the things that we used to do three months before or earlier. And uh, little activities, little joys, little pleasures that we took for granted, and now they're no longer available to us. And now we are missing some of them. And while some others, for example, uh, not having to meet cookies is a big bonus in my opinion. So, yeah. <laughs> and I know that neither her nor any of my cousins is a Toastmasters member, so I am I can be very safe in saying so. Anyhow, so we will start with, uh, with uh, let's see, oh, we have Toastmaster Dr. Uni. Toastmaster Uni, uh, in another life, we used to have traffic jams. How do you feel about that? Do you miss them? Over to you. And word of the day is, I believe, just a second. Word of the day is implication. Word of the day is implication. Over to you, Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster Uni. I suppose this is supposed to be the table topic. Yes. I believe uh, we are today in, uh, in, in, in passing through days when uh, traffic jams are uh, the time which we are uh, cherishing and we are actually looking at the time when we were stuck at uh, the traffic 
and uh, we were uh, we used to be so uh, much grumpy to see ourselves uh, in in the traffic jam but uh, here we are today when we are actually missing those traffic jams we are missing uh, all those uh, times when you we are actually being grumpy so uh, when are we going to go back to that state if you ask me i think uh, uh, as long as uh, i don't uh, get near to this pandemic i'm pretty happy staying at home um and uh, i uh, would would rather uh, like uh, to actually uh, stay at home and uh, somebody actually told me that uh, sir isaac newton back uh, when this uh, pandemic w w was spread in in england way back and uh, it was plague uh, sir isaac newton did not want to go anywhere and it was that time when he invented three laws of newton so i think uh, i hope that uh, my staying at home if we can i can result in one new law i think uh, i will actually cherish uh, that time and uh, and i am I'm, i'm looking for so so far no no good success right now but uh, i would uh, rather not uh, trade it back to those traffic jams Mr. Table Topping Master. Your mic is muted, Toast Master Tala. Oh, sorry, sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, I didn't figure. I didn't figure that someone could miss traffic jams, but I believe that it is possible. um uh, okay our next speaker is toastmaster hina ali and toastmaster hina do you miss shopping word of the day is implication good evening everybody do i miss shopping <clears throat> it's not something that i like to do contrary to popular belief it's it's a uh, an implication that is attached to the feminine gender if you're a woman you're a girl that you you love shopping i do not let me just tell you that today i had to go out to do our monthly or if you will six weekly groceries and uh, that was like an experience from hell uh, i um, had a misunderstanding about the time for uh, for a meeting that i had to attend just before this meeting and i was so flustered at at the checkout line that it i cannot begin to express to you how that felt and even if it comes to this generally shopping the worst kind of shopper i i absolutely hate shopping because either um I, i'll be a spendthrift and just do senseless shopping or you know it's just it's not my cup of tea shopping it's just not my, so i don't the straight answer i do not miss shopping at all <laughs> not at all <laughs> thank you thank you so much toastmaster hina and i believe that we are well on our mission to spread positivity because two of the things that i mentioned are not being missed at all that means we are better off at least in those two respects um okay our third speaker for today will be toastmaster heba rais khan and uh, toastmaster heba rais khan do you miss eating samosa chaat yes that's your um, table topic <laughs> okay good evening fellow toastmaster word of the sorry word of the day is implication okay uh good evening fellow toastmasters and no guests uh i do not uh, i do eat um, missing samosa chaat or chaat in any form because uh, i'm a foodie i love eating and ordering food from outside a lot and i get a good scolding from my mother as well because uh, i've been ordering food in this pandemic situation as well 
So, in fact, I ordered today as well uh, for my lunch. And uh, but I do miss eating samosa chaat in short, and all the savory snacks that uh, we Pakistanis enjoy. Because um, let's face it, food is uh, some people are. Um, some people live, uh, eat for living and uh, I, I basically enjoy food a lot and uh, I'm one of those people who basically is fond of eating all sorts of stuff and uh, it's uh, and uh, I basically enjoy eating all sorts of food, savory snacks, and uh, all sorts of uh, even branded uh, food. And uh, that's about it. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Heba Rais. So yes, uh, eating samosa chaat and all the other junk food is something I dearly miss. And just like you, I also, some people stress bake, some people stress cook, some people stress eat and I stress order, just like you. So, okay, our next speaker will also be our timer, Toastmaster Latif. Uh, I, can, I can time you for uh, this duration, okay? Or, uh, and your topic is going to the barber. Do you miss? having access to a barber and having to go to a barber regularly. Word of the day is implication. Just let me, just give me a few seconds to start the timing. Meanwhile, you can gather your thoughts. We are, we are that kind towards new members, you know, we, we suck them in. Over to you. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. It is really a time where I never ever would like to go to a barber actually. Uh, it was a dream to get my hairs a little longer than usual. So away from office, working from home makes me that uh, benefit of this. Yes, uh, there are some uh, little cuts which we really want in the hairstyle, which is missing, but leave that apart. I really feel not only barber, not only the people around us who, who keeps us helping us to groom us, to motivate us. These all are also very important people. And if I don't go there, it is something I'm not using their skills to, to benefit them or to make their life easy. Also little bit of earnings of their money is also a, like, you know, a deed which we can help us out. Like, you know, so I feel sorry for them right now in this pandemic era, but yes, for sure. I will make sure once they are open, I'll be the first one around them. So hopefully many will be also waiting for to, to go to Barber and get their, get their slotted uh, in, in shape. Well, their beard, their hairs, because Style grooming is always very much important for personal life, for upbringing. Actually, some, somewhere we design ourselves to design our destiny. So I really, I really sometimes get angry on them also because uh, they do <laughs> mislead us. And, uh, like, no, it's, it's, well, it's well cut, it's well cut. But no, uh, I feel what I feel and I enjoy them having them because they are the only one which I keep my hands heads bent against them. Thank you. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you so much, Toastmaster uh, Latif. And your time was one minute fifty five seconds. Uh, okay. So yeah, I also hate going to the barber because, uh, and yes, you're so right. Because it's not what you get at the time of the barber's visit does not count. What counts is what happens three days later. 
and <laughs> they they don't they don't plan that far long and uh, thankfully uh, i have uh, i have visited a barber recently after so many months and there was just one customer so i told them that you know don't make me question my life choices just after two days please uh, ensure this these are these are times of the pandemic i may not be able to come to you again for three months okay so please do a good job this time okay so uh, it's a table topics that is being uh, hosted by me and uh, anybody who knows me even a little bit would know that i thrive on morbidity so it's not all fun and games while missing out on so many other social activities we also get to miss out on funerals so what do you think about that toastmaster najam rizvi word of the day is implication am i audible thank you okay uh, nice to be back at a meeting after a long time and getting an opportunity to speak so the subject of funerals actually uh personally i've had a personal experience since this lockdown began obviously i tried to avoid going out as much as possible avoided shopping avoided going to the barber but then i had to ask the barber to come to the house and i did get one haircut i you know i had a lot of sympathy for him because he said he hasn't been working for lot last two months so i paid him for two or three haircuts in fact instead of one but coming to the subject of funeral that is also something which i had to experience about uh, three or four weeks back in ramzan uh, right after i had finished sari and was you know after the prayer back in bed i got a phone call from my uncle's house and uh, his uh, my uncle's uh, uh, grandson informed me that there's been an emergency and that he just uh today after sari he fell down all of a sudden and there's a lot of blood and can you come immediately well i didn't have a choice actually because his own son is abroad uh two of his daughters are also abroad so sometimes you know they expect the other nephews and these people to look after these things so i did uh i went off and by the time i was i was able to reach there he had already uh, been uh, taken to agra khan normally obviously i hadn't been going to agra khan or anywhere near a hospital for since the lockdown began but that day i was in the emergency and they were giving him some treatment and finally they asked that you know do you want him on the vent or not and we discussed it and we said no it may be futile to just prolong his uh, misery and this happened you know like early in the morning right after sari and by around 10 he was he had expired he passed away so we decided that you know to, the best thing would be to make arrangements for the funeral as soon as possible and uh alam though we were able to do that by zohar time so that was an experience that i didn't expect to go through but i had to go through sometimes you don't have a choice in these things there have been other funerals in the family that i uh, missed or avoided going to but this one i just couldn't miss over to you thank you so much toastmaster najam and yes that was indeed a moving account uh yes uh, uh, not uh, you cannot miss every funeral some some you have to attend and this situation makes it doubly challenging uh, okay we have a long time expander who has uh, been absent from the club meetings but he has never been far away from our club whatsapp forum and from our hearts close master ali, ali zargam so do you uh, do you miss hugging and if so how much you miss hugging because we can no longer hug <laughs> 
thank you uh, dtm talab uh, i really uh, miss hugging uh, because i am a social person and i love to meet people and i have like dozens or you can say hundreds of friends so i i always get in touch with them and uh, whenever i meet my close friends i hug them even in my office if if um, we come back after weekend uh, we hug each other <laughs> like like we are brothers so uh, i really miss hugging and but you know we have to uh, be cautious because it's it's not the right time to hug people so it's good it's good that you have other alternative uh, <laughs> other than hug so we also uh, also try to you know uh, tr try to use those methods like this like uh, this and uh, we we hug our shoes <laughs> so we have uh, alternative methods as well <laughs> so it's not uh, it's not like we are dying because we are not hugging <laughs> so that's all over to you tala thank you thank you so much to spasa reza ram and yes i can uh, uh, so uh, we all have our own uh, own uh, preferences but uh, hugging is a big part of our social setup social networking and that is one of the things that i find beautiful in our society again it's a matter of personal preference but sadly uh, these times don't allow for that okay uh, my last uh, speaker would be uh, toastmaster shamam khan and toastmaster shamam there was a time when cinemas were a thing do you miss those times word of the day is implication thank you a uh, dear topic master well i um, you won't believe actually that uh, a couple of days ago i was remembering my time in islamabad when i was away from the family and that was the time when um after work a uh, stressful time having you know hot discussions with the team and the boss most of the time i used to head towards centaurus and watch a movie whatever was there like i had my specific choices but a few times i had just gone into the cinema and spent 2 3 hours so just 2 3 days ago i was remembering this thing and i was discussing this with my children that look how this pandemic has actually made us stuck to ourselves when we are frustrated and we want to vent the only thing we do is talk to ourselves i uh, can anyone else hear hear toastmaster shamam no i think it's lost no I think, problem i think she has been disconnected yeah her screen her screen is frozen yeah, yeah. it's hung wrong okay so uh, that uh, uh, that concludes our table topic session uh, you can vote for your favorite table topic speaker Uh, Toastmaster Latif, if you can recap the name of the speakers, and I believe we can also count Toastmaster Shamam because uh, uh, she got disconnected. Okay, so we have. Thank you, uh, DTM Tala. We have TM Unip, first uh, table topic speaker. Can I? Shall I mention with the timings also or? uh sorry i think toastmaster shamam is back 
if uh, Toastmaster of the evening allow, can we allow her to complete her speech? Yes, we okay. can allow her to complete her okay. speech. Toastmaster Shamam, you got disconnected, but now you're back on. So please continue from where you left okay. off. Yeah, so it's like it's a distraction. I lost my thoughts on it. But um, but so what I was trying to say is that um, the implica implications of not going to the cinema is not only missing the movies. You can do it on Netflix, um, or on your mobile phone and anywhere. But it's all about the getting into people. People smelling popcorn, having coffee inside the AC room. And it's all about the, it's the ambience that keeps you going on, keeps you forgetting the, the, the unnecessary stress that you have through the day, unnecessary thoughts that you get. And uh, for me, uh, spending three times in that ambience matters a lot. Over past, like, 10, 10 to 15 years, I've been practicing this thing. And some of my friends would say that, oh, oh, you should go sit with others. And I said, no, it's better to keep hearing than to keep talking aimlessly. So a cinema for me is always, even if it's aimless, it's always been a good catharsis for myself. And yes, I miss doing cinema a lot. And I wish that we are back uh, to... Uh, like you said, uh, table talk master, that not mentioning COVID as abnormal thing, but at least we get to uh, get to such kind of activities. So if, among the lockdown, maybe they should open cinemas for at least three hours for one show only for people <laughs> like, like me. So over to you, Toastmaster. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Shamam. So Toastmaster Latif, can you please recap the name and whether whether everyone qualified. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, DTM Tala. TM Unib has spoken for 1 minute 57 seconds. TM Hena Ali has spoken for 1 hour, one minute 24 seconds. TM Heba Khan has spoken for 1, one minute 20 seconds. I myself have spoken, TM Latif has spoken for 1 minute 55 seconds. TM Najam Rizvi has sp spoken for 2 minute 36 seconds. If everyone can allow, I don't know. Ali Zargam has spoken for 1 minute 28 seconds. And TM Shamam Khan, actually I have timed first as 1 minute 15 seconds and this one as 1 minute 30 seconds. So I don't know. There was a disturbance. If anyone can grant, I'm I'm not sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Toastmaster Latif. It's up to the president, who is trying to hide. But please <laughs> uh, uh, issue your decree based on this. Uh, I mean, on this very important issue, so that we can cast our votes. Okay. Only one member is disqualified. Sir, actually, uh, TM Najam Rizvi has spoken for 2 minutes 36 seconds. Mm -hmm. And uh, TM Shabam Khan. I get it, I get it. Since just two weeks left, so I allow everyone <laughs> to call it for voting. So well, you can cast vote for everyone. Did the Toastmaster uh, did the nomination committee check? Is Has he filed for something or not? <laughs> I mean, these are, these are all campaign tactics that he's doing. Okay, over to you, Toastmaster of the Day. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, DTM Talha. Now let's head over to the prepared speech session. I think Toastmaster Mohsen is here. I think, uh, shall we go for a prayer break first? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's take a 10 minutes break and come back after 10 minutes. Uh, Toastmaster Latif, could you time the 10 minutes? Just a quick one. Just a yeah. quick one. How are we voting again on on the chat? On the chat and sending the vote to the vote, the vote, vote down there is Toastmaster Babur. Toast, uh, Toastmaster Babur, how will we vote? Yeah, you can send me a personal message on Zoom, right. and okay. I'll be counting the votes then. Okay. 
Ali Hussain Babar. Ali Hussain Babar, right? Yes. Yes. Yes.
Vidyam Tala, right on time. Uh, I'm back online. Everyone else? Uh, we have around 20 seconds for okay. two, 10 minutes. Time's up. Ten minutes up. Hello everyone, the break is over, you all are welcome. Okay, people are coming back one by one. I'm back. Okay, great. Toastmaster Vakas is back, I think. Yes, I am back. Great. Great to see you, Toastmaster Vakas, after a long, long time. Yes, yeah, same to me. Uh, same to you also. It's great to see you again and your you all. Yeah, it, it was a very long gap. So I was expecting to be to have a face-to-face -face meeting. Unfortunately, I think it will not be possible too soon. Yes, exactly. We we had that discussion and you were very eager to join uh, in-person meetings, but unfortunately, for the next few months at least, this seems to be the only way forward. Now, this is the bad part about online meetings. We don't know whether people are actually back or they're just hiding. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I thought of opening up the camera now. Yeah, please, everyone. <laughs> we'd appreciate Let's... if you open up the camera so that we can really know who is there. And who is so there. that everyone can know okay, who's back. And I request all of you to cast your votes. I got very few votes for the table topic speakers. Who, who is the vote counter today? Toastmaster Ali Hasnan. Ali Hasnan, so you are here. I rarely see you. I always, you know, uh, see your name, but not you in person. Smart people always prefer to hide. Okay, so you are here. Thank you for the index. Toastmaster Rusa, uh, I believe we'll have uh, Toastmaster Mohsen Jamal first, right? Yes, we have Mohsen Jamal. Yeah. So let's start. I'd, I'd also request if I'm able to evaluate him immediately after the speech, would that be possible? Yes. I think, yes, we can, eva we can evaluate him immediately. Okay, okay so let's uh, restart our session. With the prepared speeches. 
So the first speaker is Toastmaster Mohsen Jamal. He will be giving his speech from the CC manual, Project 9, Persuade with Power. Toastmaster Mohsen, okay, you have your uh, camera open. His topic is Why Help Others? And his evaluator is DTM Tala bin Ahmed. DTM Tala, can you please tell us what his objectives are? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Toastmaster Mohsen Jamal has been kind enough to grant us with this speech, although his main main hustle seems to be Zenit Toastmasters Club these days where he's completing the CC manual. But he has been kind enough to grace us with this meeting, uh, with this speech. It is the penultimate uh, speech of the CC manual. And uh, its objective is simple, persuade with power. So in this speech, the uh, the member is supposed to utilize their skills previously learned in all the previous seven, uh, sorry, eight uh, CC manual projects. For example, vocal variety, for example, uh, rhetoric devices, for example, speech structure, and utilize all of them to persuade the audience of a point. The speaker should present a persuasive speech that combines logical support for his viewpoint uh, with a strong emotional appeal. The speech should focus on self-interest of the audience the speaker also has been asked to avoid using notes if possible. In addition to your oral evaluation, please complete this evaluation form by checking. Add your comments only for those items. So, uh, Toastmaster Mohsen Jamal uh, is first, first and foremost, his first introduction is that he is a qualified doctor, mashallah. And second, unlike most doctors, he is extremely cheerful and funny. And he always adds sparks to his projects and to every meeting he attends. So please put your hands together for Toastmaster Mohsen Jamal. So fellow Toastmasters and guests, Assalamu Alaikum and good evening. I've always been taught that we should be kind to our fellow human beings. We should help them when they are in trouble. And it does not matter what religion you practice and what country you live in. I'm pretty sure you must have been taught something similar to this belief. Now, at some stage in my life, I started asking questions, and one of the questions was, but why? Why should I help other people? There were a lot of times when I needed help and no one helped me. So if I never helped anyone, what difference would it make? So uh, I started looking into it because it was so common that we should help other people that I thought that maybe I should look properly into this matter before making final decision. So today I will try to persuade you with the same reasoning that persuaded me and uh, persuaded me and made me decide that it's always the better decision to be kind to your fellow human beings. So we all want to be happy and we all want to live a stress-free life. So my number one reason is that the vast amount of research shows that uh, people who help other and who are kind to other live a more happier life, have less stress, and even they have a longer lifespan. As long as they don't get too intensely involved with uh, the thing, that the, is, they get a stress, stress, stressing because of that matter. So they will even have a longer lifespan. Now, there are a lot of reasons why this is, why people who help others live a more happier life. And one of them is that a chemical called endorphin is released in our body which is basically a natural painkiller which decreases the stress and which basically causes uh, euphoria in a person. So that's the, uh, my number one reason. So my number two reason is empathy. So what's the definition of empathy? Empathy is basically being able to put yourself in someone's else shoe and feel and imagine how that person is feeling. So I want all of you to whenever you see someone in trouble, next time you see someone in trouble, to put yourself in that person's place and imagine how would you feel at that moment? Would you want someone to help you and get you out of trouble? If yes, then try to help that person too. Because uh, I believe that the way that we want to be treated ourselves, we should treat other people too that way. My number three reason is my own philosophy. Now, I don't think I'm a bad person because I don't harm other people and I don't bully other people. It, but I also don't think that I'm a good person because my definition of a good person is someone has two qualities. One, 
he sympathizes with other person when he sees someone in trouble he feels their pain that his second quality is taking action he actually try to uh, get them out of trouble to the best of his capability so these are the two qualities and i don't think that i sit into that definition i never saw myself uh, like that but at one point i came to this realization that uh, what uh, how we feel is a lot of dependent on our personality and of our and on our upbringing and that never was in our my control but we always have a choice you and i have a choice when we see someone suffering we have the choice we have the ability to either help them or let them suffer be a bystander and just be an observer and see how they are suffering and just let it go because no one will ask you why did you why didn't you help them because i believe that our real worth is decided on what choices we make now in the end i would like to share a story with you it's not my own story but at the same time i think it's at everyone's story so many years ago an anthropologist was asked what was the first evidence of civilization now the asker was expecting that she would say that uh, the pots or maybe weapons that early human beings used they were the first sign that uh, our human were civilizing but she said it was a healed femur bone you see femur is the bone our longest bone in our body that connects our hip region to our knee region the bone that's inside our thigh and she said it's the healed femur bone you see uh 5 15000 years ago when our ancestors were mainly hunters a broken femur bone meant that they could not hunt and they could not run away from danger but uh and so death was inevitable but a healed femur bone showed that someone decided to took care of that person someone decided to give them food and someone decided to help them and protect them against danger someone decided that they that they will not abandon this person they decided to show compassion to that person over to the rose master of baby thank you uh, toast master mohsin uh, now i'd like toast master salabin hamid to evaluate toast master mohsin speech thank you so much toast master rusa so first of all apologies for this apologies for interrupting the flow of the meeting but uh, actually i had to go somewhere so i had to uh, get through this and uh, if due to the quickness of the evaluation i leave out some uh, important points i will try to cover them in the written evaluation later so toast master mohsin jamal why help others we go from we go in life from why help others to why help others that's most of us journey right and you encapsulated it very well that's a very logical question and most of us are forced to pose that question to ourselves why help others at all when we don't get anything in return or when people aren't grateful or when they don't, when they don't help us back um, but again you presented some very compelling arguments in favor of helping others some of them physiological some of them psychological and some of them logical uh, so uh, kudos to you uh, i think the biggest success of a persuasive speech is that it makes all of us think of things in a new light and i think you succeeded very well i speak for everyone when i say that you succeeded this doing that uh, you have gained a stunning level of clarity in your speech uh, your words are easily understandable and your vocal voice uh, vocal variety and voice modulation have improved by leaps and bounds and we all know who to thank for that but i won't take their name today anyhow uh, you had perfect gestures uh, your expressions you used the camera very well and uh, you uh, you presented a very compelling argument in the sense that people who are hang happier they have longer life spans they they are uh, they are more relaxed uh, so again some very compelling arguments uh, you had a very good story about uh, uh, the the perils of uh, damaging your femur uh, 
while uh, especially coming from the times when humans were mainly hunter gatherers you use some very good vocabulary and again i've seen uh, you your vocabulary was never lacking but now it has gone uh, it has much improved from before things uh, your speech was much better planned than before uh, some few uh, a little bit uh, uh, improvement areas that i can identify first of all your speech it needed to have some facts so i i felt that the facts were somewhat on the lighter side they may be may have been some statistics something like that secondly you said today i will try to pursue persuade you and you know that's a big turn off for people for example if someone says that you know today i will try to persuade you i will make up my mind never to get persuaded by them so you could have skipped that sentence because we all knew that you were doing the persuasive speech and uh, uh, lastly i think your speech lacked a clear call of action or at least i missed it in conclusion it could have had a clear call to action for the audience that you know you should change this in your life starting today but overall a very very successful project you were very very persuasive you changed my mind about being kind to others so kudos to you and congratulations on completing this project over to you toast master of the evening thank you dtm sala now the next speech is by toast master vakas he will be delivering his speech from effective Co pathway effective coaching level 2 understanding your communication style his evaluator is toast master asghar toast master asghar would you tell what his objectives are thank you um tm marusa uh, today tm waqas is um, doing a speech from uh, effective coaching level 2 understanding your communication style uh, the title of his speech is art of communication and the purpose of a speech to deliver uh, for a member to practice the skill needed to connect with an unfamiliar audience uh, so please welcome waqas ahmed for his speech today uh, he is getting ready uh, please don't forget to unmute yourself because this is the only way i can hear you <laughs> sorry uh, sorry for that uh, that's good uh, there are those masters and more uh, distinguished guests uh, in our daily life 